Hey, howdy, hey everyone, we're gonna get into a video on how to fully ascend a pal, the four stars. You're gonna need three things. A brain, sorry, uh, you're gonna need three things. Breeding farm, pal essence condenser, and egg incubator. The ideal passives that you're gonna be sticking into these farms are, at the very least, philanthropist nocturnal. I say this in all of my passive videos, breeding videos, ascending videos, you need pa philanthropist and nocturnal. These are what's gonna give you, these are actually just game changer for spam breeding, okay? This is where you breed a lot of pals, so that you can funnel all those pals into the condenser into a condensed pal, right? So you need 116 pals to condense, it takes about, I believe, 10 minutes to hatch 116 pals, if my math serves me correct, with 100% attention span, it's about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes worth of hatching 116 pals. Now the thing here is, it takes a long time for these pal eggs to poop out, right? To poop out, that just means that you see these guys, they're ha they're breeding. It takes a long time for those eggs to breed, but when you have philanthropist, it's a lot faster, three times as fast, frankly. Now here is the kicker. Okay, you need. I would recommend having at least five pens of a designated pal that you choose to condense, at the very least, so that you can just go around, collect the eggs, pop them into a chest right here, next to the condenser. Right. If only there was a deposit all button. I thought there was a deposit all button, but I guess not. Okay, so we did that one. We do this one. This way, when you collect the eggs, they start breeding. Right? They start continuing breeding. So this way, there's no downtime on the egg breeding, egg spawning, so to speak. Right. And that's pretty much just the issue when it comes to actually dealing with this whole thing. You gotta collect all the eggs, and this is why I recommend putting a chest right next to it so that you can deposit it fast. Okay, so that there's little downtime to be used. And then once when you're in when you're ready, right, when you're ready, you just start hatching them all. Now it does take a it takes a long time and it's very boring and very tedious and overall obnoxious. But you see this guy's philanthropist nocturnal. This guy's philanthropist nocturnal, and when it ha what happens with ph uh, philanthropist is you get a hundred percent breeding increase speed. Wait, right? hundred percent breeding speed increase. You see, we're popping out an egg. It's one egg every single second. I'm uh, one uh, one progress bar of the egg every single second, right? Now, am I gonna say that it takes a minute per egg? No, but I am gonna say that I have done in the past of my. Let's see if I. 6,801 Anubis hatches. Well, maybe 6,000 and like 700 Anubis hatches. Um, that I have, it has taken me probably about 18 to 20 minutes to fully condense a pal in terms of hatching. Okay. So once you go around the map, go around your farms and whatnot, collecting all the eggs. I'm just double checking. Yeah, so we have some, some gunk in here. I would also recommend to change the settings to only allow eggs. Double check, yep. Take them out. You see how easy it is to take them out? It's just putting them in, which is annoying. And then, you make the egg incubator right here in the pal tree. And you make the pal condenser right here. And you select the pal that you wish to condense other pals into and then you go at it 116 pals it takes very stupidly obnoxious I personally hate it so much and then like you see how my client lags sometimes it lags for people and boom we are now four stars four stars we have an ascension power status of like I don't know what we have it at but this is my triple element guy, and he is potentially doggy doo doo because he's triple element with no actual stats. But it looks cool. I will say it looks cool, right? It looks cool having triple element like Serena the Void, Earth Emperor. So he's five element damage. So he's technically a hybrid that's mobile because of his partner skill where he can sidestep things. So yeah, you do that. Ugh. And then I go get a new one. Who do I want to max out? A Dragon Anubis? Oh, I could max out a new Perfect Worker, actually. 
Let me see if I can find one. Turn on, no. So these two actually need to go back into my raid. They actually got wiped to, into oblivion. Okay, see how many of them are actually fully ascended? I guess I'll just ascend the Great Dragon one. Ah, uh, nope, we got a loss. Okay, so this guy's gonna be ascended, and you know, it doesn't cost a lot of materials to make these condenser. I normally have like at least like probably 20 of them in my base overall. And that's why I say, slot on, Philanthropist Nocturnal, because all the so that once you hatch them, you know, you know by heart that they are doggy doo doo. The passives are doggy doo doo. They're just there for like fodder, you know. Oh no. I missed. Turn this snake too fat for his own good. Boom, my pup going out again. Oh. And you see I have an egg incubator in all of mine so that I can, you know, OCD like. I'm gonna say it's OCD like, but so I can just hatch it, pick it back up so that it's a clean inventory. For the next time I visit, it'll be a full inventory of eggs. So technically, you can ascend if I. It, I'm being generous here, okay? We're gonna say 20 minutes instead of 18 minutes to fully ascend, to fully hatch 116 eggs. Um. And every single 18 minutes, if you have like six pals, six farms going, um, you can get, or every 20 minutes, you can get a, an egg, a full, pe a full pen of eggs. And you have six of them going, that's 120 eggs right there. So technically, you can fully ascend a pal. Uh, 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 wait, what? You can fully ascend three pals every hour. Or you can fully ascend a pal every 20 minutes, you know. We're shaving, we're giving additional two minute leg room. You see how tiring this is and boring this is? Even when you watch a movie, it's still boring. Because you have to, you have to turn your brain on to listen for the shing noise. And it's very annoying. Hopefully, I really, really, really hope that the devs will, the pocket pair will like incorporate some sort of pal. Like a mommy goose pal or something. That will just like grab all the eggs from the farm and just start hatching them. Like, I don't even care if it takes, like, five days to hatch 116 pal eggs. Like, that would be so much more ideal. I would leave my PC on, even at, like, 2 FPS, and just let him be. And just let it go. Like, that, that would be so much better, right? Right? Oh. But this is just brutal, dude. I think it takes three minutes for to hatch an entire inventory of 42 pals. I don't remember what my numbers were, but I have another video on how to four-star pals. But because people have been asking a little more now, I want to make another video. So this is it. Anyways, that's about it, guys. I don't want to keep you guys here for any longer. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess, um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace!